Badrinath Singh is grieving for his daughter. She was a college student, just 23 years old, when she died after being viciously gang raped. Police say her ordeal began when she boarded a bus with her boyfriend at night. The small group of men on board seemed to have planned their attack. The pair were beaten. The young woman was gang raped and violated with an iron rod. And then both of them were thrown from the moving bus, naked and bleeding. My love for my daughter was as deep as the ocean, Mr Singh told us. I want the men who did this to her to be hanged. Mr Singh worked double shifts as an airport baggage handler to buy a home in this poor neighbourhood and to educate his children. Now his wife Asha sits alone in a darkened room. Since her daughter's death two months ago, she hasn't left the house. The crime sparked an outpouring of rage. Thousands of protesters have taken to the streets angry over what they say is an epidemic of harassment and violence against women. Garima Srivastra organized some of the protests and told us that Indian women live with fear every day. I feel angry because I am a citizen of this country. I have the right to live safely as any other, in, in, uh, any other man, I would say. So why me? Why a woman? What wrong have I done? Activists like Garima say the violence is a clash between traditional values and a new generation of educated modern women whose independence is threatening to some Indian men. And now another taboo is being broken by survivors of rape who dare to speak out. This 16-year-old girl told us how she was gang raped last year by eight of her neighbours who filmed the attack on a cell phone. Her father was so ashamed he committed suicide. How did you have the courage to speak out? I come from an educated family and I understand these things, she told us. Many other girls are too frightened, but I went to the police. The men accused of raping and killing the Singh's daughter are already on trial, though a verdict could be months away. Her terrible death has seen more and more Indian women finding their voice and using it to shout out in anger. Holly Williams, CBS News, Delhi, India.